What's the big bar? We have a big bar or, or a couple of bars? Yeah, thanks for paying attention. That's the golden tankard no, down the here. Golden tankard. <laughs> That's Welcome, it, yeah. Chief. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you, thank you. They yeah, have the yeah. sailors in the house. Yeah, well, there there's you go. all kinds of uh, areas around town. Feel free to explore, adventurers. Feel free to explore. You just don't have to go right into the default tavern. I mean, that's what I do need to does. get to the trading post if anyone wants to join me. Yeah, I, I need to go to the trading post for ship as well. Ooh. All right, let's head over there, guys. All right, so you head into the trading post. It is one of the larger buildings of Parnast. Fairly new. Very nice uh, steep roof with tiles. A sign outside that says, Ye Old Trading Post. Oh, I love this brand. Yeah, so as you as you walk in, you see the, the top of a head behind a counter, and then all of a sudden you see half of a torso as it jumps up onto a box, and it's a halfling. And he says, Hello, good friends. My name is Calder, and welcome to Ye Old Trading Post. What would you like to purchase this afternoon? I notice that you're not from Parnas. You must be from one of the caravans that just came in from the desert, I see. Looks like yeah. it's closed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let us know if there's anything that you need. Me or my family will be willing to help you to the best of our ability. <laughs> so if you need anything, anything out of the player's handbook, you are able to buy. And he may have some other other goods if you inquire about them. If you're I looking for inquire. anything in particular, so you see that he has a small assortment of weapons and armor on the wall. Chain mails, plate mails, all that good stuff. I actually need to offload a little bit. And that's uh I need to offload uh, a couple of water skins and then I want to talk to him about if he knows uh, anyone within the order of the gauntlet. And I've got a, a set of ring mail that I need to uh, to to sell as well, unless someone wants it, I guess. Ah, my friend, I, I have not seen any of the organization since the castle had left. When the castle had, had left and the rumors of it crashing to the north of here started spreading around, the, all of the organizations pulled out of Pawnest. Hmm. But I would... I'm screwed, yeah, huh? I no well business is quite slow. I I will say that. But I am willing to buy your chainmail from you. I will pay you half price. I will just have the the town smithy melt it down anyway. All right, so just do the half. I'll take it off my thing and just do half the sure. cost, right? Yeah, if you guys Perfect. want to sell anything, Calder will give you half price for anything that you want to sell. And then, like I said, he has anything in the player's handbook that uh, that you'd want uh you know for book value, so plate mills, what, 1500 or 5000 whatever it is, some ridiculous price. He's got a beautiful suit on a mannequin on the wall, some weapons. I'm going to see if I can pique his arrows. interest a little bit. And while while we're dealing with this, mm, uh, we'll, uh, mm -hmm. I'll let the uh, the treasure map kind of come out, and I'll ask, uh, uh, I'll ask Malachi if I... If I uh, Maybe we should head over here next. It, it's, it uh, sounds like a, a quite the quite the uh, worthwhile trip to to find this this treasure. Let's see if I can't pique this guy's interest. Yeah, I think it's worth checking out. You never know. Well, what 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 well, are you wanting to check that, out? It certainly can't that be hard to find. I mean, it's uh, we just we just need to need to have the right directions given. Uh, is is what are you selling? Are you are you looking to sell something in particular? Oh, no, you, you probably don't. Uh, it's a little bit of treasure. We came across the map, and we don't know if we'll have time. Well, silly, silly half orc! Don't you know that halflings love treasure as well? What do you have? Let, pull it out. Oh, Let me I see it. couldn't, couldn't, po couldn't possibly whip possibly it out. Bother you with this? Could not possibly bother you with this. Oh. Okay, I won't bother you then. Hmm. It well, seems like my well. Oh, good. My reverse psychology did work. <laughs> ah, whip it out, old half orc. Let me see it. Yeah, so, uh, Let's old Calder I'm see it. Brushing <laughs> off the uh, the ring pail, I'll, uh, I'll let him at least take a look at the uh, at the map and see if it's. Uh, mm. Just let him let him see what he has to say. He he makes some noises and grunts. <clears throat> 
Mm. Ah. Ooh. Hmm. Heard, heard tell there was quite the magical item at this spot. Hmm. Just, just not sure if we'll have time to grab it. And what did you hear? What kind a of sword. magic? A sort of smiting, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, oh! I don't see it written anywhere here on the map. No, no, what, the, is that uh, just hearsay? Is that something that? Oh, are you trying to sell this map to me? Are, are you, are you, are you jesting me? I would never joke. Hmm. I would give you a hundred gold for the map if you want to sell. I tell you what, you 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 give me a couple of good jokes, I'll sell it for a hundred. Hmm. A couple of good jokes. You yeah. know, a halfling your size in the in a town this large, they've got to have some good ones. I, I'm always in the mood for a good one. How about, How about you, you tell I, me a couple jokes and I'll give you a hundred. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you jokes. The price goes up, my friend. <laughs> Well, as he pulls out his tablet and he goes to uh, Google. <laughs> Ye old Google, right? As he's looking on his, on his uh, gnomish tinkering uh, tablet, he says, hmm, let me see here. I, I'm trying to remember a good joke for you. Hmm. Okay. Well, okay. Give, give him a taste of our humor. Come on. Uh-huh. Oh, let me think of a good one. You can go first this time. I've got one, I've got one, I've got one! What has two legs and bleeds? <laughs> and it's not a female. <laughs> what has two legs and bleeds? Oh, you stumped me. Go through friend. the cow. Half a goblin! <laughs> <laughs> That's always a good one. <laughs> Ah, oh, got one more for you. Oh, somebody just dropped something and broke a glass vial in my shop. Did you hear that? Oh, all those ambient sounds are just... Okay, okay. Where are you when a demon pushes you up against the wall? <laughs> Between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> oh, a knee slapper, my friend, a knee slapper. Uh, between a rock and a hard place. Uh, he slaps his knee. Uh, uh, and then he falls off his box. Uh, lands on his back. <laughs> Impales himself on his spear. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He doesn't. <laughs> 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 so, what do you call a peeping... What do you call a uh, book on voyeur, voyeurism? Hmm. A peeping tomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it sort of like the Tomb of Beast or the Tome of Beast? Oh! <laughs> I have those for sale too. <laughs> of course, oh, the are... tomb is more rare. The Tomb of Beast. <laughs> Quite larger as well, I hear. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I've been in such a weird uh, mood the last couple of weeks. I don't like it, though. I'll give you a hundred gold! And he throws down a hundred gold. In fact, he throws ten platinum out on the counter. This is for your map, friend. I would love to I'll buy take it. Mm. Uh, you know, you, if we're ever back in town and you figure out what uh, if, if we heard the right truth about that sort of smiting, you certainly let us know. Mm. He writes on there, ah, yes, as he, as he licks his quill and dips it down into the ink and he, and he writes on there, sort of vocal slaying at the end of the X. Or, what did you say it was again? A sort of smiting? Sure, sort ah, of smiting. Sort of, sm whatever. H fancy schmancy, yeah, we'll, we'll put this in the glass case and see if someone will buy it. <laughs> if you'd like to buy it, it's 250 gold, my friend. <laughs> oh, I like your style, my friend. Yes. I love you. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, time is money, friend. I need to keep the roof over my head, of course. So is there anything else that Calder can help you with? Uh, it is a little rough. It is. Have you ever been to Parnass before? I think we passed a, a, in well, we in passing on some earlier uh, skirmishes out in the mountains. Mm. Ah, the Grey Peaks. Yes, beautiful they are. 
You say so. They are. So what brings you to Parnast? Were you the adventurers that brought the the idol or the statue of Angaradin back to Parnast or to Parnast for the first time? I'm sure Chandra Stoll is happy to see that statue. She was. Hmm. And it is uh, the very same adventurers uh, looking for uh, a bit of work, to be honest. Uh, ah. We'll take a bit of rest first, but uh, off to the next adventure, as they say. Well, I am, I am seeking a supplier. If any of you know anyone that knows how to make potions, maybe an alchemist, maybe an herbalist, I am. My supply has run quite dry since Rue has passed away. And Her husband now. Yes, there is. Uh, as I was just getting there, little halfling. What tro why, Where do you hail from, halfling? My name is Calder. Oh. I hail from home. Where is home? I've never heard of that town before. Anyways, there is it's a real, it's herbalist. Real close, to, real close to death. He's always, he's always ah, right there. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, a halfling adventurer. Ooh, a rare commodity indeed, my friends. Hmm. Well, we used to have a, an herbalist slash apothecary in town. Her name was Rue, and she was quite the concoctor, I guess you could say. She made all kinds of salves and liquids and potions, and and she would supply me with a. Uh, her wares and goods, well, ever since she had uh, passed away from the fever. Her husband, Silas, is now selling all of the, the final things that she had made, and once he is out of all of the different potions and salves and stuff that she had made before she had died, he plans on closing shop. So that's going to leave me with no way to get a hold of these things, and that just cannot happen. I'm a businessman. I'm an entrepreneur. I need to have a full variety of everything. And then if I can't get it, where am I going to get it? Oh. Poor Rue. I miss her so. Oh, look. I don't know shit about potions or alchemy, but if there's gold in it, I'm up for finding someone to give this guy some stuff. Well, if you... Hey, I would give you a finder's fee. If you could send me someone qualified, and if that person is competent enough to supply me with the needs that I have for my business here, I will give you a finder's fee, of course. Hmm. I'm sure that sounds tempting to all of you adventurers. Certainly. If certainly. we come across someone, I will certainly make sure that they uh, come your way. Hmm. Thank you. Is there anything else that you would need today? While well, you're at the yes. ye old trading post. Yes, yes. I would, I would like to upgrade my armor to splint mail if you have it in stock, please. Absolutely. It says I know I've got a, a suit of splint, splint mail around here somewhere. As he's digging through a couple of crates, you know, and he's throwing, you know, arm pieces and coifs and all kinds of things on the floor. Ah, here it is! Here it ah, is! Perfect. Oh, my size, too. Thank ah, yes. You. The price is in Chapter 6 in the Player's Handbook. <laughs> okay, I'll look that up. And I will give you half for what you have on, my friend. You've got a deal. Anyone else? Looks yes, over I'd like to... Yes, yes, fellow Ant halfling Ant brother. From the town Ant of home. Antitoxin bio. Ah, uh, antitoxin. Hmm. He thinks for a second. Hmm. Nope, don't have it. Were you just listening to the conversation that I was having, friend? I don't have any potions. No, I was listening. Oh. I was listening to what you said before. I can get anything I wanted out of the equipment guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, except for the potions and antitoxins and whatnot, I, I, I'm completely out. You may be able to find some over at Silas's place. All right. He'll That's be there until he, till he sells out, and then what he's going to do after that, I have no clue. Maybe I may try to buy his building from him. 
maybe for a discounted price, and then I could resell that as well. <laughs> maybe I might get into the real estate business. I heard it's booming. <laughs> Boy, the talkative bunch we have tonight. Woo! Barian, what are you doing? Sarpi, what are you doing? Sarpy, what are you doing? Uh, Barian uh, picked up another quiver, uh, another 20 arrows, and some more rations, and right. a second thieves, set of thieves tools. Whoa. All right. Well, Sarpy doesn't really have any uh, have much gold to throw around right now, so I'm just kind of looking around, you know, doing a little browsing. Oh, I'm looking forward to... Oh, maybe after you leave, maybe I might go see Gertrude and maybe get a picture of milk for dinner tonight for the family. Oh, I'm excited about um, having some milk tonight. How do you feel I, about I steak? I believe the steak is on the menu for dinner tonight. What? What? What do you mean? Somebody shot Gertrude. <gasps> who shot Gertrude? Someone who can hit the side of a barn. Someone who is, I'm sure, a fine, upstanding citizen. Well, I'm sure the rumor will spread around Pawnist as to who killed Gertrude. And when I find out who killed Gertrude, I will charge them tripled from here on out. Killed, well. killed one of my favorite cows in a wolf. Really, the only cow in Pawnist? Oh. oh. <laughs> Maybe we me. can find you another cow. <laughs> Good luck around here. All those damn cultists, they killed everything and ate it. And took it with them. Bastards. How do you feel about Squirrel? Well, seeing that it's been the prime course on the menu. Oh, someone just broke something else that's glass in here. Who's breaking my empty vials? Ah. Seems to seems to happen quite often. Seems to happen every twelve point one minutes, according <laughs> to my stopwatch, as it's in loop. So yes, it seems like squirrel has been the main feature of the menu for the past couple of months. Thank goodness I'm a halfling and a squirrel fills me up. The brains are great. Have you ever had squirrel brain stew? Oh, absolutely filling. Hmm. Does it make you smarter? No. No, it makes you a squirrel brained. <laughs> That's a real knee slapper, half orc. <laughs> Thanks for the map. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I could be of assistance. So, what's Kel during this time? Doing that during this uh, time? Nothing, because Kel's not here. <laughs> 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 I thought we were going to the bar, so I didn't want to interrupt on that side of things, right? Oh, I thought you were going to the bar. Well, obviously, you're not in the bar, then, if you're here in ye old trading post. And who yeah, are I see you? you have enough things. Strange I'm a wizard. Ah, oh, a wizard. And what magic do you cast, wizard? What do you study? Uh... Things that burn. Burn little folk that are annoying. Do you have any paper? I haven't what? murdered anything in a day or two, so I've turned kind of <laughs> is it uh, passive aggressive, I guess. Oh, pieces of parchment you seek? Do you seek? Do you seek any writing utensils? Do you seek any writing I think utensils, inks, anything? I have, I have those things, but do anything else any more complex, like spell components, or do you normally sell those type of things here in Parnast? I have a basic spell component pouch, sure. I could definitely use one of those. All right. It is in Chapter 6 in the Player's Handbook, or if you click on the right-hand side on the Items button, just do a search for a component pouch, and that is the price you will pay at Ye Old Trading Post. Hmm. Hmm. Is Anyone it possible you have darts here as well? Darts? darts? I have a whole barrel of darts, friend as he points over towards where the bows and the arrows and the crossbow bolts are. There's a whole barrel of dots. Help yourself. Well, I mean, don't help yourself, but help yourself to as many as you want to purchase. <laughs> 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 
Oh, the talkative ones tonight. Is there anything else that I can help you with, my friends? I'm gonna be going to this armor thing is great. Well. well, I'm glad. As Ooh. I finish zipping it up and then turning around and walking into a wall. And there goes all the other vials. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's not 12.1 minutes yet. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, on, on the bright side, you won't be needing the vials. You got nobody to make your potions and antitoxins. Right. So where else would you adventurers like to go in Parnast? I would like to. Barian like to go to the ta the tavern. Tavern sounds like a great idea. I give Barry a pat on the shoulder and say, don't worry about it. I'll give you some archery lessons later. <laughs> roger, roger. <laughs> sure oh, thing. I want to go to the alchemy shop. All right. You can do the alchemy shop really quick. Everybody else, I'll run down there. All right. So as everyone starts to make their way towards the golden tankard, Malachi wants to head over to the herbalist store, so that's where we'll kind of go really quick. So Malachi. as you, Malachi, yes. <clears throat> no. As you, you're not playing Malachi. You're playing Valon. That's right. My bad. So as Valon goes into the herbalist store, an elderly man, he introduces himself as uh, Silas, and he says, "Ah, welcome to our shop." And he says, "Ah, ah not." Our shop. It's it's my shop now, but uh, I don't know much about these potions and all. I do know about the wake up sauce, as my wife used to call it. And he says, "Oh, I'm a widower, and unfortunately, my my wife Rue, well, my wife that isn't here anymore. She was the expert, uh, and she was the one who made all of these things, and." I'm just selling everything now. I do have a little bit of an assortment left. You know, some of them have price tags on them, some of them don't. And uh, he says, oh, yes, when I sell all of these, I'm going to be probably leaving Parnest. Hmm. Where will you go? I do not know. Wherever my travels will take me, I think. Probably to a bigger city, probably. Hmm. You can see that he has, you know, potions. He has some. You can see that he has holy water, some acid. He does have antitoxin. He even has some some perfume. He has alchemist fire. He has some potions of healing. He has bottles of ink, bottles of poison, bottles of dye. Looks like a lavender color dye. He has bath oils. He has his uh, famous wake-up sauce, as he calls it. He says, ah, it, it will take care of a hangover with no problem at all. And then he has a vial of blue liquid on the shelf that has question marks on it. So he has quite question a variety. Marks. Yeah, that, it's a, I call it the unknown blue liquid. I have no clue what it does. I never asked my wife. I'm sure she probably knew. Is it made by Pfizer? <clears throat> Did someone else come with me? I thought I was the only one going to the alchemist shop. Anybody else go? I, I thought I was going, was going. Yeah, on. for a few minutes until. Yeah, we come on. I'll come on in and check it out. No, I headed to the tanker. Okay. So whoever's here, just type a one in chat, and I'll know who's in the the alchemist store. So, you know, you've seen all of the, the different vials and stuff that he has, and he's told you that he has his, his wake-up sauce. He goes, oh, it's, it's ten gold. He says, it, it'll be worth every gold, and it takes care of a hangover almost instantly. But as for the, the blue liquid, I, I do not know. It is I'm just interested. a strange blue, blue liquid. I, I How did you come by it liquid. there? Would I be able to identify it? It's uh, my wife. My wife made this, and that's all I know. I this was one of the last things that, that she actually created. And it's did she leave color. you? Uh, she she died. She fell into a wood chipper. It was so, a horrible oh. accident. Yes. <laughs> Dang those wood chippers! 
get you every time. I step away from the counter and kind of look at the other things, so I went barf. <laughs> well, you as you're looking at the blue liquid, you know you kind of I'm sure uh -huh, take uh -huh. the lid off and kind of waft it towards you. It actually okay, has a okay. very sweet honeysuckle flower type of smell. But as very for what good. it does, you oh. have no clue. What do you want for this? Hmm. Could be worth a lot, could be worth nothing. But I'll tell you what, I'll meet you in the middle of something that's a lot and something that's nothing, and I'll take 20 gold for this blue vial of liquid. That's closer to a lot than nothing. I was thinking more like a lot being a hundred gold, but that's just me. Uh, let's see if I have it here. Where's the, the gold hiding at again on the log? On the inventory, inventory tab. Yeah, I, I, can, I can afford it. Sure, here's your 20 gold. Well, how about uh, how about you haggle me a little bit? A little DM... A little... DM uh, intrusion here. If you want to haggle for it, feel free to haggle. That's all part of the role playing process, guys. Well, uh, how about uh, ten gold then? Halfway between halfway. Uh, then that, then fifteen it is, and he sticks his hand out <laughs> to shake your hand. Fifteen gold it is. Half of twenty would be fifteen between ten and twenty. Fifteen, sure. Oh, sure. give me. Uh -huh. a, I'll tell you what. Give me a. Let's see what what type of check would we do on on negotiating? I would say give me a maybe a persuasion check, and then I will also do a uh, an insight check, and then we Okey will dokey. do a roll off. So put it off into the, the tower. Oh my God! Someone just broke a glass vial. Did you hear it? Take your time in the parlay. Oh, you have... Uh, I know that my wife would have wanted someone to have this. Rue got shot right bless her soul. Oh, I'll sell it to you for ten. She would be proud of me. I have to let loose of these anyway. Oh, you've talked me into it. You're such a... Such a negotiator. There, there, so. There, there. Oh, <laughs> God. Bless him. All right, so he charges you ten gold for the unknown blue liquid. So I will and bless go your ahead. wife. <clears throat> oh, thank you. She was such a great person. She had the heart of a squirrel. Such a precious little thing. And goddamn, those things taste horrible. God. <laughs> All right, so I, I put the uh, the blue liquid on your sheet. Unidentified blue liquid. I would like uh -huh, to sniff uh -huh. a vial of this wake up sauce. <clears throat> oh my so friend! Tiger sauce. That is the good stuff. No pun intended. Easy tiger. <laughs> if you want the wake up sauce, I do have a couple doses left, and it is ten gold per vial. Can if, can I tell if it has if it's like medically if it medically does what he says it does? Uh, you are you want to do some kind of check on it? Maybe a nature check or something to see what. Yeah. Right, uh, it, it has a little label, and then it says, if taken, this home remedy neutralizes the effects of any kind of tough night at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take one of this. Well, well, I've got two left, and if you want both, I'll give you two for 15. Hmm, two for 15 or one for 10. I'll, that's a deal. I'll, I'll take two. All right. So I'll let take me... both of your vials. Okay. So I'll put those on Malachi's sheet. I'll cross off 15 gold here. There we go. You got two of them on there. Wow, look at all the money you got. Holy crap, money bags. Yeah, he hasn't spent any. Uh, I don't think he's ever spent any except on a couple of healing potions. Well, no, I didn't even spend on those. I think I found all of those. Wow. I've got some perfume. Some of you could probably use it. It's five gold for the perfume. I'll pass on the perfume. I smell pretty good as it is. It's called Sex Panther. 
by Odeon. 60% of the time, 